So can you can you explain to me where you are on the boat and what what is on board? Hello. Here we are on Pendwick 2, which is Eric Tabardi's boat when Tabardi won in 1964 from Plymouth to Newport. And for a lot of reason, and as a tribute to Eric and to all these guys who did for us today, uh, I'm going to do my uh, 50th transatlantic <laughs> on this boat on between Plymouth to New York on the transat. On the race, I had the chance to win three times, and Eric Tabardi won it two times. So you can see that supply wood boat, which was quite revolutionary at its time. That was the state of the art 52 years ago, a boat of 14 meters long, quite wide, and plywood, super light, and super slow for me, for sure, because I'm quite used to a lot, to something different. But I want to feel again my first feeling, to, to say with the sextant, which is here, to say with a vein safe steering system on the back, chopped paper, and I'm going to try to share with my little drawings and. That's a little um, introspective uh, session. So what have you got on board, Loic? And not too much, in fact, quite a lot of food because it's going to take a long, quite a lot of time. Eric Tabardi crossed in 27 days. So I, maybe it's going to be a little faster or slower, I don't really care. Uh, I have a nice little kitchen here on that side. You have a little galley here. Are a you going to galley. make traditional food? Uh, traditional food, a bit of dry food, but I don't have any uh, water maker. Here you have a, a specific uh, piece, which is a chart table, which is, how would you say that? It's like, oh, you know, yeah, it's so sort of, it's not gimbling, but you fix it in position? You fix it in position oh, by the time the boat is hitting. Oh yeah, it's got yeah. the, yes I see. Tabardi had that on all the Pendwicks, all his boats, and for sure chart, uh, paper charts. And that's a little SSB radio here, the sextant. And um, hidden behind this curtain, I have the AIS, AIS which mm -hmm. is mandatory, especially when you arrive in the, in the Coast Guard on the other side. They want that. And on the back, you have one very comfortable berth with my little pillow. <laughs> and another one on the other side, for sure. If for some reason, yes, here it is. Yeah. Very nice. And these charts that you're using, they're not, obviously they're more modern charts than Taverly, but they're positions on board, uh, his positions on certain days, or? No, they are not Taverly's ones. In fact, this one is another piece of uh, collector. This one, for instance, was given to me by Philippe Fack. Philippe was the skipper, the co-skipper of the Big Catamaran Royal, Royal when they won the first Quebec Samalo fully crewed race in 1984. I was doing doing it with Mike Birch at this time. And that's the chart when they won it. From Quebec to Saint Malo and you can see the old position. No, I've lost all of mine. My first transatlantic crossing. Everything was like that, but no. So I do have and this one I don't know from where. And I have some other details. But you just need that, in fact. A big a routier we call it. Big North Atlantic. And then the day by day and then you use a little logbook. I, I bought it here in England. Very nice one it. in English. And the logbook. I've done my two my second transatlantic crossing with a logbook like that. So light, latitude, longitude, and your estimate position, and then you do that's funny. And this uh, this other book, which is uh, a sketchbook, is um, Ah that's me my little Moleskin. I'm doing a lot of This is you 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 did this. I've done it yesterday, yes, to oh, that's brilliant. To, to share with the uh, with the um, to share with the com community through the website. I've done a little website, which uh, which is a sailing, uh, sailing slash, not slash, comment ça s'appelle? Minus uh, legends, sailinglegends.com, because that's, the plan is, this is the first step of what I want to do in the next years, as a tribute to Eric, for sure, and as a tribute to uh, Mike Birch, who was my Jedi master, the first winner of the first ROM race, so we do the Rom race, which is the other big trans uh, solo transatlantic, the French one, in two years' time, on the boat on which Mike won in '78. The little happy, we call it happy. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to do that a few years ago, but another story arrived. Yeah. So, so I, that's the way I, I like to share my uh, my stories like that. I've done. I, I I love to draw, but I'm drawing quite a lot of stuff like that. Maybe you remember that. Oh yeah. 
That was the li that was the little happy when I had to jump on the bigger one. You had to jump on the big one. <laughs> yeah. You had to jump on a bigger button and win. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't do that. So are these lots of ideas that you have, technical ideas and little calculations and all sorts of things? Yeah. But for the cup mainly. Uh -huh. But not only, I'm, I'm drawing a lot of uh, cruising boats, um, fighting, fighting dinghies, a lot of projects like that, and a lot of stuff for the for the cup. Yeah, I'm working a lot. Drawings. Not only that, I'm, I'm using an iPad too. I have a little sketchy uh, apps on the iPad, which is very very useful. Mm. And yeah, that's um, I'm doing that since. Yes. So you might have some ideas for a very fast boat coming out of a quite slow race. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, because one thing is missing in our life is time. So the luxury to be forced to be somewhere, that's exactly the principle of a retreat. You call it a retreat, retreat. When, you, when you want to go up in the mountain or in the yeah. desert. It's not to, I mean, it's not to escape, it's to focus. I don't know on which stuff I would like to focus. I don't want to. That's the beauty. The luxury is to not be forced. Someone asked me, what are you going to do? Have you planned your free time, ton temps libre? No, you know, free time is I mean, when you have nothing to do. That's uh, du temps libre. OK, that's uh, holidays. But if you plan your holidays or your, it's not good. Because the beauty of that is that uh, it's, you don't need planning. I don't want to. So that's why I have cameras, I have everything to ready to write, ready to talk, ready to share. Maybe I will be, maybe I will do nothing. Just read, or maybe not. I don't know, I don't know to be forced. I have, uh, that's the, maybe the definition of freedom. Well, good luck. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you need some.